Hey, ERBC family. I wonder, have you heard of the three blessings exercise? Yale psychology professor Lori Santos teaches an online course on happiness that has reached more than a million people. And as part of her course, she recommends something called the three blessings exercise. Here's the way she explains it. She says, research shows that we really can benefit from counting our blessings, even when it feels like there aren't that many to be counted. The simple act of scribbling down three things you're grateful for can significantly bump your mood. In some studies, as quickly as within a couple of weeks. And it's completely free. It takes only five to 10 minutes a day. At the end of your day, just scribble down a few things for which you're grateful right now. I think that's good advice because counting our blessings, even in hard times, certainly is biblical. The Apostle Paul writes, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ for you. No matter how the world changes, God's love does not. The psalmist begins Psalm 106 with these words, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. You know, the first Thanksgiving in the United States was celebrated by the pilgrims after their first harvest in the New World in October of 1621. That first feast lasted three days, and the holiday was celebrated on and off through the years until President Abraham Lincoln in 1863 proclaimed a national day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens. And he declared that to be celebrated on the last Thursday in November. That means you've got about seven months between now and then to get ready for the big day. But the reality is, for the Christian, thanksgiving shouldn't be a once a year event, but rather something that we do continually. So let me challenge you today to try the three blessing exercise. Find three things for which you're grateful, even during this difficult time, and then jot them down and take a moment to thank God for them. Do it not because I'm telling you, but do it because it's God's will for you. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus.